Hello good people, I'm Visa from Recyclop Studios and I'm doing a series of how to circuit bend toys. First up, Fisher Price Piano. Okay, let's dive in. So um, here it is. Um, let's go first a little bit functionality. Um, there's a power button with two volumes. Um, there's three different modes. The alphabetic. That's giving us us uh, numbers for some reason. Okay, and then there's English Finnish thing. And uh, possibly the most important, the musical mode that gives us a uh, major tone. And um, the the bends that I've done, which are very basic here, uh, the tune knob. That basically just uh, adjusts the the I don't know the speed of the the small uh, microcontroller, and by doing so, it tunes the tune. And uh, the fun thing with this product is our uh, toy is that it gives you always a major scale. Um, um, is it called triad a chord? And wherever you tune it, yeah, with this toy, you can get to the Eurovisions easily. And uh, second, very basic. Uh, Bend here is the line out uh, jack for for music and nothing else, just the simple things. There's tons you could could do uh, with the tune knob. Uh, in, in place of that, you could uh, add a light resistor and have it, you know, light controllable or or shadow control. Uh, you could have touch control metal nuts or bolts um, or all kinds of things you could have also back troll which is a light dependent resistor and a LED and uh, by doing so you could uh, control the tune by a modular synthesizer for instance or some other external source um yeah there's all kinds of things one can do and and uh, yeah uh one thing that could be possible that would be nice to do is also uh have an output for triggering these four four keys and uh with all that it would be really good toy going with the modular synthesizer or or Semi -mod modular one, and ever, ever you have a reinstallation uh, if you want, if you're into that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, let's crack it open and see what we have inside. So, to open this, you need a screwdriver, just uh, 
normal it's called crosshead Phillips drive and um, and yeah the very common for for the Fisher Price toys is that they are built like a tank these are good for bending um, from the point of view that they they are really hard to break uh, you can really abuse these but uh, but uh, but there's hard, usually hardly any space inside either unless you you take big part of the guts out then you might fit a pot or jack or or so yeah let's take it open That was many of them. I left the battery cover there for now. I hope we don't need to open it up. The batteries fly out probably. So. Let's see. Okay, yeah. First comes this, and um, yeah, here we can see. Which way should I turn it? Here's the jack. I find found a really small corner for the jack, and uh, yeah, I had to take some of the plastic out to to make room for it. Now, which angle should I show it? There it is. So let's see. Well, let's just hope that it won't break. Okay. Uh, anything else coming loose? No. Half a million screws, and it <laughs> it's still stuck. I think I need to take take out the and the 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 battery cover anyway. So this part alone, one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Okay, no matter. Let's take this as well. No hidden screws here. How oh, did I open it? That is a mystery. These are kind of loose. Sometimes you need just a bit of force. So the face part came loose, and here we can see the potentiometer that I add in here. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's filled with structures that holds everything together more be, be, better than I don't know 
better than it probably should be. Okay, and the keys come off like that. And uh, yeah, then we have these <laughs> surprise parts that uh, are, are, you know, I don't even know why they put this here. What's the function? Well, okay, it holds the keys, but uh, yeah. Anyway, it's there. And we need to take that out as well. Here's the mighty electronics. So this here is the blob. That that's where the magic happens. Uh, that's the brains of the operations. We have the push buttons, which are most likely uh, just a kind of a. Uh, it's the rubber and uh, on the other side of the rubber there's this black stuff which is probably graphite or something like that um, if you have a button that has failed you can take it out and take a normal pencil and just put new graphite on on that black area and it should start working Sometimes it wears out. Anyway, um, uh, the tuning thing, or whenever you want to have a melody out of it, and and the most common bend you do on 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 the toys is that you try to find the resistor. It's one resistor that will control the clock rate of the blob. And therefore, it's usually somewhere close to the blob. Uh, to find it is that you keep the unit powered, and of course, remember, remember, always use battery-powered toys. Nothing mains connected, because the, there's a high risk of bad stuff happening. Anyway, you could uh, wet your finger a little bit and touch, poke around and, and press the buttons. And uh, as soon as you can hear something happening, maybe, uh, let's see, maybe we could have the uh, batteries in place. Yeah, um, you can wet your finger a um, little bit, um, not too too wet, but so that it's it's moist. Uh, then you just poke around. There's a trigger for for something, apparently. Here you can see, or here. You probably guessed it already, cost my, my, my potentiometer wires goes there. But uh, here was the um, resistor. Uh, actually, it was here, it seems. 
there and uh, I, I've been so clumsy <laughs> so when I've soldered it out I managed to take out the pads as well the SMD ones are uh, that kind of difficult sometimes or I'm just clumsy anyway um, I found two other points right there that uh, connected to the same thing I think these two were probably in series or something and uh, when you solder into SMD pads like this it's I, I've noticed it's important that you have some kind of stress relief thing so uh, I've got the wire through this structure here to the potentiometer otherwise they will fall off and they will rip off the pads as they go so that's my recommendation for that adding trigger points one would need to check where the these buttons go and and just add some kind of trigger thing maybe could be an IC switch IC that con connects the two contacts um, could be something more simpler as well possibly anyway that's that's the Fisher Price piano fun stuff thank you for watching and um, and um, yeah if if you've done the same piano yourself and have idea or have ideas how, how how you would modify or bend it leave comments down below and uh, yeah thanks for watching until next time